Well, this weekend's Governor's Cup will bring hundreds to the Midlands to test their endurance and their skill. But for one local woman, it's a race that's helping get her back on track after a run that rocked the world. ABC Columbia's Rochelle Dean is live in the newsroom to explain. Rochelle. Many of us remember watching the horrific events unfold during this year's Boston Marathon, but one local runner, Carol Wallace, lived and survived it and now is on a mission to finish what she started by way of a race right here in Columbia. The Boston Marathon is certainly one of the largest running events in the world. And to be able to run the Boston Marathon is, is just an unbelievable uh, accomplishment. But her biggest disappointment, the inability to finish her first race in 14 years. After months of training, it had nothing to do with her not being ready, although it was a moment she could have never prepared for. Since I had run it before, I knew exactly where I was. I was planning my video that I was going to take as I was entering the going to enter the finish line, and everybody stopped. Everybody stopped. Wallace was only a half a mile from the finish line when two bombs exploded. I have been running four hours with thousands of people, and now all of a sudden I look at the road in front of me, there is no one on the road. And of course, the first thing you think about is, where's my family? Recently, the Boston Athletic Association sent Wallace an invite to return to finish the race she started. And she says she didn't hesitate to accept the offer. He has not deterred me from taking part in, in the next Boston Marathon or any other run. Including one of the oldest races in Columbia, the Governor's Cup. She and a group of dedicated runners have been meeting for months to train for this weekend and beyond. Governor's Cup is a half marathon that comes at a really good time for people who want to train for Boston. And there's a, there's a whole community of us. I was a half a mile back. Somebody else was two miles back. Um, we, we, sh we share something that others you know, can't share with us. Wallace says she's not the only one who has been offered an invitation to take part in next year's Boston Marathon. 85 to 90 percent of those who were unable to finish the race say they too plan to return. Live in the newsroom, Rochelle Dean, ABC Columbia News.